Tomato juice. Delicious in a Bloody Mary, but not so popular on its own. What did you say that one was? Tomato. Tomato? No, that's only good on chips. Would you like a juice from my juice tray? Orange juice, tomato juice, apple mm, juice. Apple. What do you mean, ooh? No? No, not a tomato juice kind of girl. Why is that? Tastes like cold tomato soup. Do you know anyone who drinks it? My mum does. Really? Yeah, she drinks it when she's on an aeroplane. Really? So why do they drink it's it in the sky? It's a 40,000 foot drink. So, what makes tomato juice so pleasing on a plane? To find out, I've come to Heathrow, home of the UK's largest airline catering company. Kevin. That's fine. Good, good to meet you. Good, good to, to meet, meet you. you. Kevin, you make airline food, is that right? Yeah, indeed. OK, let's go and have a look. Shall have a look? Kevin Love is the executive chef here. Here we go. This is kind of almost sort of frenetic. It is. Uh, what, what sort of volumes are you doing here? So, from this unit, we're doing up to 40,000 meals per day. And we, we supply 90,000 litres of tomato juice a year. 90,000? So, yeah, it's a huge quantity. We think it's because people crave those kind of savoury flavours, more robust flavours uh, when they're flying. One airline says they serve nearly as much tomato juice as they do beer. So, all these strong flavours that you're created in there. Why did you go that route? Why is because you lose up to 30% of taste and flavour at altitude. Is that right? That's right. To find out why, me and the crew are off to Germany. And while some say tomato juice, I say Bloody Mary. So I don't usually go for one of these um, on the ground, but in the air, this tastes all right. <laughs> After my liquid lunch, time to taste airline food proper, courtesy of flavour chemist Dr Florian Mayer. Florian. Good morning. Matt. I'm Florian. Uh, now, Florian, can you tell me why a Bloody Mary is so popular with travellers in the air? Sure. Follow me. Wow. Florian is a leading expert on the effect altitude has on our taste buds. So this is our flight test facility. Wow. Yep, I've flown hundreds of miles to Germany only to board a flight simulator. Oh, my God, look. <laughs> it's really spooky. Yeah. OK, man, mm. we first uh, do a taste experiment on ground. Well, there's so, clouds out yeah. there. And here's Kevin again with two spag bowls he prepared earlier. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> How are you? All right. <laughs> I'm tasting the two dishes to see which one I prefer. Mm. That's really good. Pasta bolognese. The dish on the left is spot on, but the one on the right is just a bit too overpowering. Wow. OK, it was a big difference. <laughs> big difference. This one has really seasoned. Now we are going to repeat that experiment uh, at flight conditions. OK, can I have some more? As much as you like. It's really tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Air pressure, humidity and engine noise are all replicated, although they seem to have forgotten all the screaming kids. We have reached cruising altitude, as you can feel. Oh. Feel it. I'm trying the same two dishes again to see if they taste any different in the sky. So which one do you prefer? Um, when we were on the ground, that was a very, very seasoned dish. Yeah. But now it's delicious and it's perfect. And the one that I liked originally just tastes a little bit more flat. Now. Yeah. Because of the reduced pressure on board an aircraft cabin, your cells in your body get less oxygen. It's only about 70% of the level you get on ground. And with uh, uh, less oxygen in the cells, that will also affect your taste buds. Less oxygen in the air means less flowing through our blood. With less oxygen in our blood, our odour and taste receptors are less sensitive to certain flavours. It's amazing the difference it makes. Yeah. So when we're looking at drinks, for example, if you were order a spicy Bloody Mary, yes. you've got all the kick, you've got the tomato juice, you've got Worcester sauce and vodka. While the drink's savoury notes punch through, the tomato's acidic taste is muted. Cheers, no wonder it's flying off in-flight trolleys everywhere. Now you're happy? I'm very happy. happy. <laughs> oh.